Hey ho, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Plain Demo Disc with Sonic Ryan 9. I am Sonic Ryan 9, and today we're taking a look at official UK pl PlayStation Magazine Demo Disc number 81. We're jumping ahead a few of these Demo Discs here because this is the next one that I have in terms of the chronological order of Demo Discs that I own. So, yeah, we're, this is going to be a regular theme that's going to be happening. I'm going to be jumping all over the place in terms of the numbering of the Demo Discs because... I went back and forward in terms of owning these, so, yeah. Anyway, so, for this demo disc, we have the following games that are demos, and we get the things that aren't. We have Creatures, which is a demo. Monsters, Inc., which is a demo. Rayman 2, which is a demo. Roll Cage, which is a demo. Vib Ribbon, which is a demo. Tony, Hawk Pro Skater, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 Tips is a video. Destruction Derby Raw is a demo. Cool Borders 4, which is a demo. G... Oh, Goal of the Month. That's a video. Run of the Month, which is another video, which is um, another um, showcase video. I think we're going to show that one off as the last thing. And then we've got Super Bob, which is very special, which is something that I'm going to leave for the last actual game that we're going to cover. But first, let's cover the creatures. Oh wait, they're a group that no longer exists anymore. Anyway, let's play uh, the creatures, which from what I remember is a really, really weird, like, game. If It's weird. Let me, I'll look, let, look at this. So we're going to the world of the creatures. You have two Norns. One of them is selected, which is indicated by the halo. Press the select button to make Scrubby fly to the Norn. Okay. Um, what do you want me to do? You like to select the other Norn. Tap select. Congratulations, you learned how to switch between your Norns. See what I mean how weird this is? You can give your Norns... That's the norm to become to scrubby. Come here. That norm did what you wanted to do. Alright. This is a weird game. This is a weird game. Uh, pick this thing up. Um, more expedience. Oh, so I gave I gave it the equivalent of a pat on the head. Okay. Fortunately, your norms will not always obey you. They'll God, move. Move Scrubby close to the norn. Press the R1 button. What the heck is a Scrubby? What the heck is all this over here? Jesus Christ! What's that? It's going the opposite way. Naughty Norn! I knew exactly what we wanted to do. Delivery of disobeyed you. Sometimes it's usual to discipline Naughty Norns. Press circle. Wow. Come here. Scrubby can interact, for example, can pick up food. So, there we go. There you go. And, there you go. No, you should have picked up some bits of thorn. Here we go, now you've got food. Yes, on the food, now to eat the food. Press the square button. Move Scrubby over the norm and then tell it to eat it. Eat it! Yeah! Through seating. Praise the Norn for obeying you. How do I do... Eating food is good behaviour. Okay. Stories of toys. There are lots of toys in Albia. Toys are a great way to... Okay. Find the ball. Scrubby use. Okay. Where's the ball? Oh, there's a ball! Cool! Boom! 
Hey, I got balls. <laughs> Come here and take it. Take this ball. This is a weird game. I'm just going to say that right now. This is a weird, weird, weird game. Congratulations, you've learned the basic functions. Now it's up to you to take care of them. Uh, yeah, this is, um, uh, this is a very, I guess you can describe this as a pet simulator, maybe? Oh, look at this guy, look at the Bertha. God, you are so slow. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay, I can okay. Oh, I didn't know that that happened. Um, well, you know, I've given it five minutes and I'm already bored. So, yeah. Goodbye, creatures. I don't think I'll be playing you anytime soon ever again because I'm bored of your game already. Sorry, <laughs> that's not my cup of tea. I'm sure people probably, there are probably people out there who actually like that sort of thing, but that's not my cup of tea. Anywho, let's move on to the next game when it's Monsters, Inc. Everyone's favourite Disney Pixar film, besides Incredibles, and Toy Story, and Finding Nemo, and Zootopia. Anyway... Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents... A Disney game. And Pixar. And A2M. And the trailer. Oh god, no, the trailer. This, this, they'll kill us if they show if we showed the trailer on this channel. Anyway, Monsters Inc. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Oh God, the models! Jesus. I didn't... What? What? I didn't... What the heck? I don't want to... Okay, fine, Monsters Inc. If you don't want me to play your game, I won't. Sheesh. Rayman 2. Fine. Maybe the demo disc is is roughed up or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, fine. Let, let, let's move on. Let's move on to um, Rayman 2. And hopefully the cutscene... There isn't a cutscene that's going to make this track. <sighs> Seriously. Oh. Uh, really? No 
will pay for that, soldier. Who dares disturb me? Your poor bones. <laughs> he has made it to the swamp. What? You incompetent imbecile. Send the warship and destroy him. He mustn't get his grubby hands on the four masks. All right. Well, let's hope this is a demo that actually works. It looks like it is. So, hey, we've got something good here. Okay, let's see. Oh, there he is. There's good old Rayman. When will he ever get a brand new 3D game? Hopefully soon. Because, you know, I think it's time Rayman finally gets a brand new 3D game. I mean, it's cool with all these 2D games, but I'm more of a 3D nuts than a 2D nuts. So, you know, just saying. I'm just saying, nothing against the 2D Rayman games. They're cool, but it's just... I think it's about time that Rayman got a, a fully fledged free uh, platformer. That'd be amazing. That'd be awesome. 3D platformers need to be a thing again. And look, so far it looks like that 3D platformers are finally, you know, getting back into the swing of things of being, you know, good. Oh God, shaky bridge. Really shaky bridge. Oh Christ. Run. Let's not get hit. Take this. Oh god. Uh. Strafe. Ow. Damn you. Okay, R1 is... Okay, R1 is... Um, turn the camera, that's good. Good to know. Oh god, what is that? Now, it, uh, the thing is, I actually have this game on the PS2. I have the PS2 port of this game, which is actually really, really good. It's like an expanded version of Rayman 2, complete with, like, open um, hub worlds and whatnot. I think it's, like, one of the best, one of the best ports of, uh, oh, wow. Oh, no! Ah! You jerk. If I were to suggest which version of Rayman 2 you should get, it would definitely be the PS2 port. It's definitely the best version of the game if you were to get a version of Rayman 2. Seriously. Get out of here. Ow! I'm missing a yellow lung. Ow! Jerk! Okay, this camera's a little off, but I am somewhat progressing, which is nice. And now I'm going to stay on this platform while I attack this guy. And he goes down, nice. There we go. Sorry about that. I hit my mic. Is that it? Oh, wait. I'm surrounded by incompetence. I shall never be able to stop Rayman. Admiral, I've returned with more than 5,000 slaves. Ninjas, you've come at the right time. <laughs> I have a mission for you. A bloody mission. Killing is a pleasure. Come on, and your will shall be done. I want you to bring me the body of this confounded Rayman. It is as good as done. <laughs> Rayman is not long for this world. Ninja. 
sauce and his ninja henchmen will make mincemeat of him. <laughs> you do do wow 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 wow. To be continued. Whoa! What the heck? Okay, <laughs> I pressed the triangle button and it literally reset the entire console. Wow. Okay then, sure. You do that, game. You do that. But yeah, that was Rayman 2. That was fun. For what it is. Still sucks that the Monsters, Inc. demo didn't work properly, but I must be moving on. I can't just keep... I can't just keep having to reset every single time a demo fails we have to keep moving on and play the next game which is roll cage now this game's fun i remember this one very very well this was a racing game with these cool cars that can flip upside down and keep moving from what i remember <clears throat> roll cage one player. So we can play as Jet. And that's the only character we can play as. Alrighty. Okay, so we have to use the D-pad for this, alright. Here we are. We're racing against all the other cars. Let's go. And we're off. Whoa! Speedy start. Holy crap! Whoa! Alright. Speed boost! Whoa, we're going nearly 500 kilometers per hour. Holy Christ. We are speeding now. I'm sure if this was an actual road, um, we would be pulled over. Like, majorly. But yeah, I do believe that this game actually, or, well, the people who made this game actually made a brand new game that's in the style of this. But they actually didn't call it Roll Cage. It's called, I think it's called Grit. And from what I've seen, it looks, like you know, it looks like a modern day interpretation of Roll Cage. It looks really cool. I, w I would love to play it, but my PC specs, because it's a PC title wouldn't be enough to play it let's just say that i'm just gonna say that much so yeah that's a game that i would love to play but pc specs aren't great <laughs> you know or at least it's not up to par for the uh for what they want anyway for the developers want but yeah that was roll cage that's fun that was really fun and a really short demo <clears throat> Okay, let's move on to the next demo, as soon as this loads, which I think it's Destruction Derby Raw, or Vibribbon, or Cool Borders 4, it might be Cool Borders 4 next, but I don't remember. Uh, oh, it's Vibribbon next, alright. This game's a weird game. In fact, you guys can actually already see the actual main character in these uh, the demo menus. You see him in the background, or see her in the background, I should say. Because it's a female rabbit. Alright. Sony Computer Entertainment Europe presents... A na 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 Macad. Vib Ribbon. Yes, folks, this is Vib Ribbon, the special DJ Cam demo, as they call it. Now, this game is a musical rhythm game, kind of like Parappa the Rapper. In fact, it's made by the same developers, which, you know, makes sense. Okay, let's see what we got. Ah, uh, what fun! Whoops! 
That was close. River Ruin is a game where you press the buttons that match the sound generated shapes. Ah! This is what happens when you make a mistake. No problem, you can still make it. River Ruin usually has four buttons. It's really simple. Look out! There's one coming this way. So L is those shapes. Here comes a pit. Push down. Down for pits. Down for pits. Loop. Press R for loops. Press R for loops. Next is a wave. X for waves. X for waves. Phew, I'm shattered. But it's not over yet. Oh god, don't don't eat my soul. Hey, what's this shape? Hang on. So now we've got combination shapes where you have to push two buttons together in order to do them. Like L and down for that. I see. Oh no, there's loads coming! And then these are like other combinations, like, you know, like, yeah. It can get crazy some later on, but I'm sure we're just going to stick with the basic course just so that we can get a good idea of, you know, this game and everything. Whoa. Um, game. Uh, hello? Oh my god, really? The uh, game works. I would like to play you. <sighs> wow. I'm going to try again. I'm go I'm go this is one demo I'm actively going to try again on. And if it don't work, then I'm going to move on. Because I can't be wasting time on a singular demo just trying to get it to work. So, here we go again. And this time, we're actually going to skip through everything. And hopefully, we can get to the game and actually play it. Because this is what I actually want to try. Come on. Fib ribbon. It's get it gets it gets one more chance. One more chance. Please work. Yeah, 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 come on. I'm just going to keep tapping X. <laughs> and start. Come on. Okay. Uh, never mind. The game just refuses to load. Okay, fine. You want to be like that? We'll just move on. Oh, damn these demo discs. I wish you weren't scratched. Just so I can actually play all these demos like properly, but I can't because these are old. It also doesn't help that the case itself actually has a two cracks. Never mind. Never mind. We'll just move on to the next game. That's fine. I don't mind. Anyway, moving on, the next game is Destruction Derby Raw. Because it's extreme. And extreme stuff is cool. Let's hope this one actually works. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck with another dud demo. You know. Oh, goody, Psygnosis. Oh, fun. After playing your last Formula 1 game, I'm, I'm extremely worried that I'm going to get another incredibly buggy demo. <laughs> you know? My goodness. 
And for those who are wondering, I'm referencing Formula One um, 2001, where in that, the car literally accelerated from 0 to 100 in like two seconds. It was hilarious. You guys, you guys should go and check that video out. It was, it was funny as hell. Like, my goodness. But I think we're, we're, we're in safe here, so let's just go wrecking racing. So we have this level, oil slick, and airhead, or axe head I should say. Let's just do oil slick, because that's the most simple one. So we've got the cars we've got, we've got Raven, oh police car, Raw Van Cheetah, Bullhead, Colorado, Razorback, Supernova, Lightning, Thunderhawk, Scorpion, Rockstar, Taxi Cab, Grizzler, Stinger. Wow, there's a lot of cars here. Last one being Ricochet. Let's, you know what, we're going to use the police car, because that's the most, that's the coolest one out of the two. Oil Slick. Cool. Oh, and here we go. And we're off. Alright. Alright, holding X. Okay, R1 is... Oh, yeah, Bone Crusher. Chief Rattler. 90 degree spin. 80 degree roll. Wow. 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 Whoa, okay. Nice! Ah, oh, if I hold L2, I, um... Oh, it's like a speed boost. Okay, that's cool. All right, take that. Get out of the way. Oh no. Okay, how do I reverse? Triangle. Okay, circle. All right. Speed up. Come on, let's go. Let's not slow down. Twelve laps. Oh Jesus. Okay. Oh, God, where are the other cars? There's some. There's some more. Oh god, they're all piled on together. Out of the way, there's the police. <laughs> Come on, out of the way. Oh god, no. Oh, okay, so my little boost gauge is on the bottom right there. That little blue meter. That's the boost. So I need to be very careful with using that. And I'm in fourth. You know, out of, uh, oh, get out of the way. Policeman on the, on the charge, on the warpath. Oh, yeah, get out of the way. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh. I'm a police car on a mission. You can't stop me. Out of the way. Out of the way. Run out of turbo. I don't care because I'm actually doing pretty decently. Go away. Oh, there's second place. No. Speed, 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 speed. All right. Second. Come on. There's first place. Yeah, we're in first. All right. Now we need to stay in first for the next, I think, three laps. Oh God. Three laps. Okay. That's not. Crash and burn. I've got no turbo. Oh Jesus. And I think I'm... I have no idea what that red gauge means. I think the green is health, wherever there's health. But I don't know about red. It looks dangerously close to full. I hope that's not my engine overheat. Yay, we win! Wow, we actually won. Holy Christ. We actually did pretty well there. That's amazing. We actually came from last to first. Incredible. Okay, moving on. We have Cool Borders 4. The last real game on this collection. 
And I'll get to why I say real game in a second after we've beaten this demo. Super Bob is a special kind of game. Cool Borders 4. Oh, it made by 989. Fun. Alright, we're off, right. Now, the only snowboarding games I've played are, I think I've played a little bit of SSX Tricky, and I've played Amped Free, so we shall see how this compares to those games. Oh god, okay. Alright. Oh, can I do a trick? Can I do at least one trick? Okay. Okay, L1 and R1 does punches to the left and to the right. R2 does nothing. L2, I'm guessing, slows down. R2 I, does nothing at all. Square does nothing. Triangle does nothing. Circle does nothing. Square X makes you crouch, ready for a jump. That's a, that's that makes sense. Oh god. Okay, this feels a little stiff. Oh, god, I did a backslide. Okay, can I at least grind? Yeah, we did a rail slide. Okay. Alright. Ah! Oh, come on. Oh, God! So many trees. I missed the rail. Why? Okay, so X seems to be the only one that does tricks in the air, besides... Oh, that's a nice pit. Okay. I'm trying to square and in the air does nothing. Oh, circle might do a trick. If I actually land properly. It does do a trick. Alright. Triangle. Oh, and that also does a trick. Cool. And I failed miserably. Yeah, sulk, sulk on the ground. <laughs> Travel to five all new giant mountains in Vermont, Colorado, France, Japan, and so on. Wow. Well, that was Cool Borders 4. Uh, I kind of still prefer the other snowboarding games that I've played, but uh, that was something. <laughs> that was definitely something. Alright, time to cover the final game on here. Super Bud. Super Bub, sorry. Now, the reason that this is special is that this is not part... This is not a standard regular game that was released in stores. This was a game made on NetEurose. What is NetEurose? NetEurose was a special development kit made for PlayStation 1 consoles in which regular people could create their own games using the, the technology at the time. And one of these games was Super Bub. And as part of the um, official PlayStation magazine, they would actually implement some of these games into the demo disc so that everyone could try and test these out. And this game is a puzzle game. Which is actually quite a lot of fun, considering. Let's just do, let's just do normal. We'll be... We Grizz versus Bobo. The lion versus the pig. Here we go. So this is pretty much the equivalent of um, indie games of today's standard, pretty much. Which, you know, for the time, this is pretty cool, considering. Considering, you know, the, the technology at the time, this is pretty cool. God, okay. Uh. <clears throat> oh no. Alright. <clears throat> oh no. Uh. Alright. Oh, that was a mistake. What am I doing? Oh, 
Oh, combo! Combo! Free chains! Alright. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go there. You go there. Probably should have gone there. Uh... Oh no, alright. Oh, wait. Ah, shoot. Okay, go there. Come on, I want a green. I want a green swirly. Why are you giving me all these blues? Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Uh, oh, no. Uh, you go there. You go there. Oh, I've lost my chance. Fucker. Ah. Uh, Oh no! <laughs> Alright. Oh, combo! Combo, combo, combo. Nice. <clears throat> Alright, uh. Here we go. Perfect. Get rid of a load of these. Alright. Um. Two, there we go. Alright, um. Damn it. Oh, God. <coughs> Two chains. Two more chains? Right. Uh... Boom! Oh, combo for days. This is intense. Probably going to lose though, because he's actually doing pretty decently considering. Uh, Try my hardest. Music is awesome, right? Oh, look at this combo. I'm gonna get trout. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Uh, oh no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be defeated. God damn it! I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I am totally screwed. Damn it! I was so close as well. Ah! That's enough of that. But yeah, that was Super Bob Contest. A really fun and quite addicting, um... No, don't play that again. A really fun and addicting puzzle game, if I do say so myself. I really thought that was pretty good. Considering it was made by one guy, pretty much. I think his name was Alex. So, you know, Alex, I hope you went on to make something even better than that. Because that was really good. But anyway, it's time to cover one of the videos. And I think we're going to cover another one of the of the month videos. And this time we're going to cover the skateboarding one. Again, I'm going to mute this, the, uh, the, the game audio because I don't want to copyright hit me honestly because it always happens but here we go the run of the month enjoy as i bring my epic commentary to uh see how people do with uh their epic moves and so on here we go run of the month First one by Lethal Lee. Look at those glasses. So we actually get to see some pretty cool um, guys who have played a bunch of skateboarding games. They're actually good at, you know, comboing tricks and whatnot. Like, my goodness. Look at this guy go.
Okay. Jesus Christ. You see, this is something I just can't do. I'm just not coordinated enough to do long combos like this on a skateboarding game. It's just too much. <clears throat> the boss. Big drop. Oh, it's Lethal Lee again. Oh, he did a second uh, video. Wow. Jesus. Okay. I'm... My God, the combo. The only skateboarding games I've ever played are Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, which I played for a little while and I got really stuck on it. And I also have played... <sighs> The Simpsons Skateboarding, which was a terrible skateboarding game. And Disney's Skate Park Adventure, I believe it's called. Skateboarding Adventure, along those lines. Extreme Skate Adventure, that's what it's called. Danny V. Yeah, those are my only games I've played that were skateboarding games. Because I don't count Sonic Rivals, because that's a racing game. And, okay, I tell you what, I have played da Tony Hawk Downhill Jam, but that's more of a racing game than an actual, like, proper skateboarding game. I played the Wii version of that. So, you know, I couldn't... It's not really a game where you're meant to properly do tricks. It's a racing game. Oh, my God, how many times does this Lethal Lee pop up in... Oh, he's still performing his combo. Jesus Christ. Oh, and he didn't land the trick. Oh, oh, if he had landed it, that would be amazing. Oh, and I'm sad now because he didn't land his trick. That was an amazingly long combo right there. Uh. But anyway, I think this is a good point to end this video on. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Demo Disc uh, series. This was Demo Disc number 81, like I said. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next Demo Disc. Thank you and goodbye.